Hi, we're the Johnsons, Shane, Michelle, Charlotte and Lachlan. Join us as we travel around Australia in our caravan for a year. Well, we're still at Ocean Beach Caravan Park in New Minor, getting ready for our trip, experiencing all kinds of weather to prepare us for the journey. Hey guys, Shane here. I'm just doing a quick test of our new battery system. So, we have got a 400 amp hour um, of battery power set up, set up, which is running through um, a 3000 watt inverter. Just run you through this quickly. So, 400 amp hours of battery, and they are the VFLP 12100S's from Fusion Batteries. Um, they do have a 100 BMS constant, which is fantastic. Obviously that runs through an isolator. This is literally just finished now, so give me a minute. We'll have that tidied up a bit better. But just for the experiment here, I'll run you through what we have. This is a multi-pass, um, Victron Energy multi-pass. Everything's Victron in here. 12 volt, 3000 watt, uh, sorry, 3000 volt um, uh, little, little, little inverter and the 120 amp charger on that we've got the two MPPT chargers and DC charger obviously if for this experiment that's not being used we have all AC power is disconnected at the moment so we're running 100% on our batteries um, when I started a couple of minutes ago we were at 31.5 degrees so we pulled the van down already almost two degrees already um, we st we've been got the aircon running. We've got it on um, low cool, and where this is sort of what's happening at the moment. So, well, we've also got the fridge on AC, and that's just been turned on. Um, so you can see the ice. Still, there is no ice, it's just water for now. Um, we've loaded it up with a heap of water to try and help with the circulation. Um, and we've got some bottles of water in here which are still just gone in. So, fridge on. Yes, I will be running that on gas going forward. Um, but for today's experiment, I just wanted to see how we would go with this setup. So we're using 1400 watts, to be honest, turning the fridge off brings that down about 400 watts. Um, we have 600 watts of sun power going in through our solar. Our solar is 875 watts of solar. Um, batteries are currently sitting at 85%. We're pulling about 80 amps out an hour. So um, we'll, uh, what I want to do is make sure, what I want to be able to do today is make sure that the aircon is cycling in and out, um, and I, my goal is to try and get the van down 26 would be nice. Um, so 26 degrees, cycling in and out, and most importantly, let's see what sort of um, battery power we have, for how long do we have it, um, and is it actually possible with this setup um, to run it, or do we need to get a more um, efficient battery system, ah, sorry, more efficient aircon system. Um, and I mean, would it be possible for us, not possible, would it be beneficial for us to even possibly add another couple of hundred amps of battery power? So run through it again. We've got the, I'll just run through them through. Aircon on, want to pull temps down, start at 31 and a half, fridge is on running purely off battery power four 100 amp fusion batteries the multi-pass 3000 two MPPT chargers and solar 875 watts of solar on the roof alright guys we'll see how we go I'll come back in a little bit and do another vid hi guys so just a quick update it's 1228 so I've been running for half an hour um, and we just have had the aircon unit 
um, cycle out. So now we're just running on fan only. Um, and we've pulled the room down 28.2. So we've pulled like three degrees out of the room. Um, and we are in a situation now where we're using 400 odd watts. So um, that's basically just the fridge. So the fan wouldn't be using much power at all. And we've got 370 watts of power coming in. We're at 80% charge. So, um, th however, that is at 13.2 um, volts, as you can see down here. So realistically that's probably a little bit more than 80 percent but the power is actually being recorded from the shunt not from the battery so a little bit of power loss there i'm um, not sure if this will tell me i don't know if you can see that 83 percent so yeah obviously it's a bit hard to see oh sorry 88 percent anyway that's a little bit hard to see there's a sticker on there does that help no, not really. So the batteries are telling me they're at about 88%. Um, so yeah, that's our first cycle, half an hour. Now I know 28.2 isn't really where I want to be. I would like it to be cooler than that for this experiment for the moment. First stage, I'm going to let that cycle in and out a couple of times um, and see what it does to the van itself, see what sort of changes we have in temperature in the van. And um, if need be, we'll crank that aircon up a little to change the thermostat on that aircon and longer so if we have to we will do that but let's just see where we go from now alrighty thanks guys hey guys it is two o'clock so have been running the system now for just over two hours um we have got the van down to respectable 25.3 um, 30 plus outside maybe 34 35 direct sun we're parked in direct sun, so um, no shade. Um, yeah, so far it's been all pretty satisfactory. Um, looks like batteries are doing and holding up pretty well. Um, we still have 600 watts of solar coming in. Um, it's been cycling in and out, the units. Um, yeah looking like we're on a goer it's about nine weeks until we leave on the big trip what <laughs> feels like it's going quickly and slowly depending on whether i'm working or at the caravan park but a few of you have been asking me about how it's going living in a caravan and weirdly it's going totally fine i haven't had really any any. I haven't had any moments where I've actually regretted it, where I've thought, I wish I had this or that from my house. I wish I was in my kitchen. I wish I was in my bed. None of that. I feel totally comfortable. Uh, and I don't know if it's because we've already committed, like, this is what we're doing. I still feel like there would be space to have regrets and, and wishes, even if that was the case. So if you're wondering, it's going totally fine and we're really loving it. So on to the next part of the adventure in nine weeks where we're moving to a different spot every few days and touring the country. have just bought one year's worth of contact lenses. <laughs> that should get us through the journey and plus a little bit of buffer.
Okay, this is the uh, Torque 3 inch into 4 with muffler at idle. I'm gonna give that a bit of a rev. What was that? Yep. That's how she sounds. And mod it up with uh, the exhaust, the muffler, the muffler delete. We'll see how she goes. Here is the replacement piece. The uh, crossover. And that is like the muffler delete basically. So they call that the loud version, but uh, I don't know. To be honest, I guess we all have a different definition of loud because the Commodore's loud. The top's going in, and that's just what came out. So that's been in for a thousand Ks, roughly, and that's what's going in. So I just overlaid them. You could see the size difference there. Cool. Okay, here's the comparison. See what she sounds like.